So since I have this um, knowledge or know-how in water infrastructure, I would like to donate some of these tanks to those areas that are about to happen for the post-earthquake uh, state. So the the purpose of these tanks is to be utilize them for drinking water as well as for septic usage because right now there's a also apart from COVID and influenza breakouts, there's also a cholera breakout because of the sanitation problems. So there's really easy solutions to mitigate that. I'm just doing this call for action to help me to connect with the right logistics to make these tanks reach to Turkey and let them um, be in the right locations in Turkey for the survivors as well, as well as trying to plan for the post earthquake with the Turkish or international engineers to be able to plan how we are going to mitigate this problem and how are we gonna create safe spots, safe places for all the survivors that are still alive to this day and they are looking for fresh and sanitized and um, clean water and also uh, humane uh, toilets. Another thing that I want to mention about this um, this initiative that I'm trying to help Turkey with is that you just need 24 hours to deploy one of our tanks. That is the core of our product. Uh, so you just need two people. They are in. They are uh, deployed by air inflation. So when you get on site, it just fits in a standard pallet. So you can just put them in a pickup truck, or you can ship them in lorries. You can fit many of them compared to all the other solutions. So it's it's just designed for this kind of disaster situations like wildfires, floods and droughts and uh, mitigate all the disasters like earthquake. So we are just looking for help to make the right connections to be able to send these right products to right people at the moment. As I mentioned, it just takes 24 hours and you don't require uh, a concrete base. So for um, normal other tanks, plastic tanks or concrete tanks or galvanized steel tanks, you need a concrete base. And with our product, since it's designed for disaster relief, you already have built-in concrete base. So you don't have to wait for an hour for the concrete to get mature.